happy 2020 guys happy new year okay we're gonna sit down oh before we sit take a look this is my christmas tree i can't believe it's time to take it down and all those bows that you see everything was hand tied oh i really enjoy this holiday too bad it's coming to an end it has actually come to an end it's not coming to an end the holidays are over happy 2020 guys it's been a hot minute it's been a hot second okay it's been a hot hour it's been a hot day it's been a hot it's been months okay since i last vlog let's sit down let's chit chat i'll catch you guys up hang on a second and before we catch up i was scrolling through my phone i know it's a bit dark let me let me turn around here i was scrolling through my phone before vlogging and i noticed that E but it's too cute mentioned you know we miss your vlogs oh so i just replied in a um, video saying not to worry new videos are coming shout out to you e buddy before we even start this vlog i always notice your comment thank you for always supporting welcome back welcome back to my channel i know guys it's been a hot hot minute oh i had a lot going on <laughs> but thank god we are still here um guys i'm going to snack on this as i talk to you guys um this is beef jerky kilishi basically you know it's dehydrated meats highly dehydrated like extremely dehydrated meat this one is by a brand called Aminchi food i actually got this in one of my asian stores they have this um if you're in arizona or rather if you're in phoenix you want to go to the lambs seafood store and they have um, the African Isle and this is where I found this but I also noticed that it's online so once this one runs out I'm definitely definitely going to be buying it online I tried it once I went yesterday to get it as a fridge okay um, to cook my plantain porridge and I noticed this on the in the um, African Isle I said you know let me just try one see how it is it can never be compared to a kilishi back home but surprisingly this thing was so good so so good so i had to look it up online i think it's about six dollars or so but the only thing is that they really get you with the um shipping and that's understandable you know you have to make profit somehow i'm looking at the label and it is produced here in the u.s um houston specifically so yeah I really really like it excuse me to me this tastes way better than our regular kimchi and it's less stress and less hassle and the entire pack is a serving and the entire pack is 200 um, calories which makes sense because it's primarily protein the sodium content is not that bad. 390. I just, I really, really like it. If you guys love Kilishi, you know, you cannot stress about getting it from back home. Just go online and buy this. I will bring this up close so you can see what it looks like. Feel free to Google it and purchase it for yourself. Yeah. Oh, when you're eating this, make sure that you have your water handy, okay? Because when they say hot this particular one is the hot kind is hot like niger hot not american hot you know when they really mean a little spice this is correct niger hot when you when you're eating it you're feeling the heat so make sure you have your water handy yeah i'm gonna have about half of this now <laughs> and then the rest the rest of it later so guys my last vlog on here was when we came back from our uh, Mexican trip. We went to Rocky Point and I have lived in Arizona for a while. 
and that was our first time the entire family's first time going to rocky point and it was so nice it reminded me so much of niger the culture the people just everything about it the weather um the location the, just the, did i say the culture everything about it reminded me so much of nigeria down to the marketplace you know <laughs> So that was really nice, but after we came back, there was a series of events that happened. So um, I, I could not be bothered with picking up a camera and trying to vlog. I got into an accident and my car was completely totaled. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Um, I had a sprain to my wrist, which I want to say is about 90% recovered because every now and then I feel this like stingy pain in the um, wrist region but aside from that my range of motion everything else is perfect no need for surgery that's just something to be, be something to be so grateful for getting into an accident and not having anybody hurt but the car in itself was completely totaled the insurance they came in they assessed the car they, they decided it's not drivable so they had to um, give us a check of what the car was worth so we could use that and get uh, something else. But in the meantime, I had to quickly drive something else because this, the kids, they still had to go to school. Oga had still had to go to work. So we had to go, Oga went to an auction, got me something that I could just drive from A to B. <laughs> the car was basically Gongoro, okay? <laughs> but you know what? It was a very drivable Gongoro. <laughs> So I drove that for a while, and um, in the midst of that, I'm like, oh, let me pick up a camera, let me vlog for a little bit, and I did vlog, that is so old, I cannot be posting that one anymore, um, and I tried to go and edit the vlogs, and then my computer died, okay, <laughs> my, my laptop died, so I'm like, okay, well, vlog is not going to happen now, I'm going to have to defer that to later on, and while we were waiting on later on, we got a news that my grandmother passed away. Um, it was it was bittersweet because she was in her 90s, you know, 90 something. I cannot imagine. I'm only in my 30s, okay? And <laughs> it feels like I have lived. So I cannot imagine somebody who has lived like three times that. That's that's a blessing. That's a huge blessing. So we had to plan her waykeeping. It was a little bit hectic. And then after that, my mom traveled for the burial. And then I had to prep for the holidays with the kids. So it was just one thing after the other, one thing after the other. But thankfully, uh, finally, everything is just getting back in place. And you know, to God be the glory. <laughs> As our Hollywood film will have it. <laughs> so yes, I am back to vlogging now. Hopefully everything goes as planned. Guys, <clears throat> I'm telling you, this cliche is so good. So, so good. You know, I was actually tempted to buy what they call beef jerky here. It looked like it would be cliche-ish tasting it looks dehydrated but then when you open up the bag it's just almost moist it is don't get me wrong it's dried a little bit but it's not as dehydrated as our cliche is and it has a sweet taste to it but this this one is just right mm. and it's so good and you can actually read the list of ingredients yeah. by Amenchi food. It looks like Amenchi, but it's Amenchi because there's an M in there or Amenchi. It's really, really good. If you guys like Kalishi, go try it out. This is obviously, if it's not obvious to you, <laughs> it's not sponsored. This killer she is making me forget everything I came on here to discuss. So, <laughs> how are you guys doing? What's going on with you? 
Are you one of those that make um, a resolution every year? I do. I really do. Make a New Year resolution. Whatever you call it. Some people tell me I don't make a resolution, I make a plan. I make an outline. Um, I, I make a timetable. Whatever you call it, as long as it's a plan, whatever, it doesn't matter. What I don't like is when people like kind of get on people who make resolutions. Okay, it doesn't work for you. Biddy can be let me try it. If it works for me, let me be, okay? Don't try to make it seem like it's a non-entity just because you don't do it. It's okay, you don't do resolutions, that's fine. But let me who do it, let me enjoy it. Anyway, my resolution this year, I can't share every single one of them with you guys, but I'll share the ones that I'm willing to share. And one of it, just like everybody else, is, you know, lose a little something when it comes to weight, yes. Guys, it's not easy. <laughs> There's a lot of encouraging people out here, you know, that um, really encourage you to do it. And I encourage myself to. But that does not make it any easier. That doesn't make it any easier, okay? There's some who lose and then gain. Just to show you how, how difficult and how challenging this is. So it's okay if you are out there and you keep telling yourself you're gonna lose and you keep trying and you keep failing. But you know what? I want you to highlight that keyword, trying. Trying, you gotta keep trying. Even if you fail, it's okay. I think the worst part will be you just giving up. Like, <laughs> falling on your face and just giving up completely. That's the worst. You're gonna fail, that's part of life. You can also win, that's part of life. But if you fail, you gotta keep, you have to be willing to get up and try again. So yes, I'm trying on that end. And just like previous vlogs, I'm gonna take you guys along. Mm, what am I doing? I'm basically doing the same thing I do every year, but the goal is consistency. I'm going to jump up, I'm going to go to the gym, because I know it's very effective for me. But what I need to keep trying to maintain is my consistency. That's where I fail most times. I can go to the gym today, and then I don't go to like two weeks time. I need to be a little bit more consistent. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I also have my jump rope, but it really helps if you don't have too much weight on you as your jump rope because it can be damaging to your joints. So, <laughs> guys, this glitch is good. I'm gonna cast you guys. <laughs> I can't even talk this so good. I'm going to catch you guys on the next vlog. Mm. As I enjoy my collision. I'll see you guys later. Bye.